Hi everyone, today we are going to talk to you about upper eyelid surgery or the upper eyelid blepharoplasty. Now patients coming to us usually are concerned about heaviness on their upper eyelid. Many of them complain about excess skin in the upper eyelid. Some of them feel the upper eyelid is feeling very heavy due to drooping eyebrows and some of them also notice certain popping fat bags on their upper eyelid. Well, this is a very minor procedure and the great thing about an upper eyelid blepharoplasty is that it can be done under local anesthesia, literally 45 minutes, can be done in my consultation room and you can go home immediately after the procedure. In an upper eyelid surgery, the common complaint people say is that we are feeling very heavy. The upper eyelid is literally hanging over the eyelid, unable to sometimes perform normal activities. For a few people, the upper eyelid skin gets so heavy that they find it difficulty whilst reading a book, watching televisions or just opening up their eyes. Many of them who complain about the excess fat bags, we do a skin removal along with removal of the excess fat bag. The incision that we make for an upper eyelid surgery is within your eyelid crease, so it is least visible. It is along this deep eyelid crease that we make a fine cut and the stitches are within the skin and they are removed within four to five days. You will have a few tapes which will be on the upper eyelid for about two to three days. A mild redness, swelling and maybe sometimes some bruising is seen which is about for a week. For those who are fair skinned and Caucasians, they may see the redness and bruising a little more prominent. For those who are dark skinned, maybe the bruising and redness may not be so evident. This minor procedure will show you results within a week and the swelling usually wears off in seven to 10 days. So if you're looking to get a more brighter and fresher looking eyes and you are suffering with heavy eyelids or fat bags over your eyelid, I think upper eyelid surgery is something you should consider. This upper eyelid surgery is very commonly done in those who have very Asian features. So those who have the Asian kind of eyelids usually tend to have an absence of the upper eyelid crease. And these men and women very commonly come to us and what they do want is to create a deep eyelid crease, just like mine. So it is easy for women, it is easier for them to apply their makeup, put their eyeshadow and the absence of this eyelid crease is very classical in an Asian person and hence an upper eyelid blepharoplasty is the procedure of choice for this kind of Asian eyelids. I hope you enjoyed this video about the upper eyelid surgery and there are more videos on the upper and lower eyelid blepharoplasty. So do watch our channel Dr. Karishma Aesthetics, subscribe to it and watch more informative videos.